This video will cover moderate questions part 3 regarding the topic of trigonometric integrals. Question 1. 1 over cosine x equals secant x. So we can rewrite it as the integral of tangent cubed x times secant to the power of 4x dx. If the power of a secant is even, save a factor of secant squared x. So integral of tangent cubed x times secant squared x, secant squared x dx. This part for du. Use the trigonometry identity integral of tangent cubed x times secant squared x is 1 plus tangent squared x then secant squared x dx. Now use u substitution. Let u equal tangent x. Then derive on each side. du equals secant squared x dx. Equals integral of u cubed times 1 plus u squared then du. Expand u cubed plus u to the power of 5 then du then integrate u to the power of 4 over 4 plus u to the power of 6 over 6 plus c. The final answer is u was tangent x then tangent to the power of 4 over 4 plus tangent to the power of 6 over 6 plus c. Question 2. When integrating with both tangent and secant, we saw that the tangent power was odd or the secant power was even. So we decided how to integrate. But question 2 has nothing to do with either of those. Now we have to use the trigonometry identity integral of tangent squared x equals secant squared x minus 1 over secant x dx then separate to make two fractions integral of first one is a secant squared x over secant x minus second one 1 over secant x, then dx, equals integral of secant x minus 1 over secant x is 1 divided by secant x equals 1 divided by 1 over cosine x equals 1 times make upside down cosine x over 1, which is cosine x. Then back to the original, 1 over secant is cosine x dx equals, now use the formula to integrate. The first one is ln absolute value of secant x plus tangent x minus sine x plus c. Question 3. If the numerator was 1 plus tangent squared x, it could be changed to secant squared x. But because it is 1 minus tangent squared x, we should think of another way. Make two fractions. The first one, 1 over secant squared x minus tangent squared x over secant squared x then dx equals integral of 1 over secant x is cosine then cosine squared x minus this one tangent squared x over secant squared x equals 
tangent squared x times 1 over secant squared x equals tangent squared x means sine squared x over cosine squared x times 1 over secant is a cosine then cosine squared x over 1 after cancelling cosine squared x then only sine squared x remains then back to the original sine squared x dx equals integral of use the trigonometric double angle identity this one is cosine 2x then dx now use the basic trigonometric integrals cosine kx dx equals 1 over k sine kx plus c in here k is 2 the final answer is 1 over 2 sine 2x plus c question 4 if you can use the formula of the trigonometric identity or if you don't have a way to integrate it you can change it to sine x and cosine x so this one secant x tangent x equals 1 over cosine x times sine x over cosine x equals sine x over cosine squared x back to the original we have to flip the numerator and the denominator the integral of cosine squared x over sine x dx use the trigonometric identity sine squared x plus cosine squared x equals 1 so cosine squared x equals 1 minus sine squared x equals integral of this one 1 minus sine squared x over sine x dx equals integral of 1 over sine x minus sine squared x over sine x dx equals integral of cosecant x minus sine x dx equals now integrate ln absolute value of cosecant x minus cotangent x plus cosine x plus c question 5 like question 4 i will replace it with sine x and cosine x cotangent cubed x over cosecant x equals cotangent x cubed times 1 over cosecant x equals cosine x over sine x cubed times sine x equals cosine cubed x over sine cubed x times sine x over 1 then sine x is cancelled cosine cubed x over sine squared x then back to the original the integral of cosine cubed x over sine squared x dx equals integral of cosine squared x times cosine x over sine squared x then dx this part for du equals integral of cosine squared x is 1 minus sine squared x over sine squared x then cosine x dx use u substitution let u equal 
sin x, then derive on each side, du equals cosine x dx, then integral of 1 minus sine squared x means u squared over u squared, then du equals separate 1 over u squared minus u squared over u squared du equals integral of make the power form u to the power of minus 2 minus 1 du now integrate use the power for integration u to the power of minus 1 over minus 1 minus u plus c is minus 1 over u minus u plus c equals u was sine x then minus 1 over sine x minus sine x plus c then final answer is minus 1 over sine is cosecant x minus sine x plus c this is the last one remember Tangent power is not odd, and secant power is not even. The expression looks complicated, but don't think it's complicated. Change it to sine x and cosine x. Integral of tangent squared x times 1 over secant is cosine x. So cosine to the power of 5x dx equals integral of sine squared x over cosine squared x times cosine to the power of 5 over 1 then dx equals integral of cosine squared x is cancelled then sine squared x times cosine cubed x remains. We learned about this situation in trigonometry integrals beginner part 1. If the power of cosine is odd, we can rewrite as the integral of sine squared x times cosine squared x times cosine x, then dx. Save one cosine factor for du equals integral of sine squared x times cosine squared x is 1 minus sine squared x then cosine x dx now use u substitution let u equal sine x then derive on each side du equals cosine x dx then back to the original the integral of sine squared x is u squared times 1 minus u squared, then cosine x dx is du. Expand u squared minus u to the power of 4 du equals u cubed over 3 minus u to the power of 5 over 5 plus c. u was sine x then sine cubed x over 3 minus sine to the power of 5 over 5 plus c. I hope this video has been helpful. If you have any questions, leave them in a comment below. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe for more.